Thanks for calling Autel. Good afternoon, everybody. Thanks for calling Autel. How can I help you? And what's the address? Hi, I'm Sean with Autel. Welcome back to OnCall, our ongoing series where we give you behind the scenes access to our technical support team. Today, I'd like to welcome back an individual who is kind of like a secret agent because he wears two hats. Ed, thanks for joining us again. Thank you for having me. Now, we previously met you and we know you are the supervisor for diagnostics on our tech support team, but I'm hearing that you're also overseeing some other categories. Yes, I also look over the DIY line and our battery tester line. Oh, very cool. And we know the battery tool is really popular. It's a great one. Um, what's going on in the battery world? Do we have a lot of questions coming in as spring is approached here? Actually, not really. To be honest, it's a really solid tool and we don't have that many concerns. Well, lucky for you, I was a Boy Scout, so I'm prepared. Can you hand me that question? Thank you. We have a viewer question from uh, YouTube, as a matter of fact. Uh, Noah Kuzel, thanks for subscribing and following our channel, by the way. Um, he has a BT-608 on order, and his question is the following. If he buys the additional amp clamp for it, can it be used in conjunction with the battery terminal clamps? So you potentially could get alternator voltage and amperage output at the same time, or does it only do one function or the other function? It's actually a great question, because it is one of the accessories that they can purchase for the tools. And it can either work with the actual battery test itself, where you're getting the voltage and the amperage while you're doing the test, or independently in our multimeter tab, which in my opinion is underused as a function on the device. Well, sure, I, I, and I'm guilty of this too. I, I think it does such a good job testing batteries uh, and electrical systems that we kind of only do that, right? Yeah, and it's, there's a lot of other hidden functions. Like in that multimeter tab, you can use voltage, ohms, uh, amperage, as well as leak detection test, compression test, and there are even other functions like resetting batteries as well as testing lithium ion batteries. Wow, so yeah, there, there's a lot of meat in this sandwich, so to speak. And shame on me, I should know better because one of the things that Autel I think does very well is like a Swiss Army knife, we give you a lot of functionality. So you may not know what you need in the future, but we've already thought maybe a little farther ahead. <laughs> so we have the extra things and it saves you from buying a specialty tool at that point. Oh, 100%, it really is multifaceted for a variety of battery diagnosis needs. Now, lithium batteries, that means we're not just talking automobiles at this point, right? We can do more than car batteries. Actually, that's a good question as well, because that's another thing that, in my opinion, is underutilized here. Because in our tool, you can actually turn on a function where you can test lawnmower batteries, marine application, commercial vehicles, or even standard vehicles. Wow. Now, I'm going to put you on the spot second time today. Mm -hmm. One of the guys happened to mention when I saw him this morning, you know, getting some coffee, that he went to start his motorcycle, first nice weekend here in New York, and it's dead. So he's going to go buy a battery at lunchtime. Something tells me that we could check his battery, maybe save him a few bucks, and his lunch hour with the BT-608. I've actually personally done it on my own motorcycle. So yeah, we can definitely do this. Can we do it right now? Do you mind? Let's go. Awesome. Uh, All right, here's the victim. Uh, yep. Again, I really appreciate you helping out on this one. Oh, it's not a problem. Hold that. Grab Thank that for you. you. Oh, well, it looks like we may have another issue here, but let's test the battery anyway. Excellent. Ed, thank you so much for taking the time with us, because as it turns out, he would have had a fool's errand going to buy a new battery because it wasn't the battery, was it? Nope. Actually, through the algorithm and the test on the actual scanner, we found out the battery was good. It was 100% state of charge. All it was is negative terminal was loose. Huh. So we've all been there before. I've had a lot of toys growing up. I know you did too because you're a bike guy. Nothing more frustrating than going, racing, buying a new battery in your lunch hour, and then you find out you didn't even need the battery. So yep. really very cool, especially since it's a coworker. But, I have to say, I can't let you off the hook that, that easy. One of our other coworkers was telling me that over the weekend, he put his sailboat in the water and okay. he doesn't think the batteries are good. You want to go try his boat out? We have the best tool for it. Grab it, let's go. All right, so this is, this is a little better than, our, than the garage downstairs, I have to say. Just a little bit. Yeah, always nice to get out of the water. Sorry, it's a little windy, couldn't control that part of it, but uh, let's take a look what we have here. All right. All right. All right, so it looks like we got two, a starter and a deep cycle. Yep. Oh, 
Look at that. <laughs> looks like he has to replace the battery. Yeah, it looks like a new battery is the order of the day, not just two cold beers uh, for getting us to do this for him. <laughs> yeah, I'll print it out for him. All right, Ed, sorry that turned out to be a little more of an adventure than I thought. I didn't realize it was going to be so windy out there today. But uh, in this case, again, it's not as good of a news as our colleague with the motorcycle, but we were able to test his batteries. Unfortunately, we did do the battery test, and it does show to replace the battery. Now, I guess we can also look at on the opposite side, because a lot of people with a dead battery will recharge it and then just think they're good to go, right? Yeah, that's actually very accurate, where people at first, almost like with a car, they can't start their car, they'll jump it, drive down the road, but if your battery is actually bad, if you test it, it would actually tell you to recharge the battery versus replace. So that way you don't get stuck out in the water with a dead battery. Correct, and that's our state of health. That's so important. I know not a lot of testers have that, so really important to check the health of the battery, not just the immediate state of the charge, which is awesome. Yes. Well, Ed, thank you. You are the best sport we've had so far. Uh, we'll definitely have you back in the future, but I mean, we've done car, motorcycle, boat. We're down to like airplane, or maybe we can have Luke come on and, and take us out in an 18-wheeler. But uh, trust me, I'll come up with something for your next visit. Excited. And make sure you all visit us on our future episodes of On Call, where we're going to take more people from behind the telephone and put them in front of the camera on a motorcycle or maybe even on a boat. For more information on our full family of products, feel free to visit us at autel.com.